Introduction Mother, what are you doing? I'm stitching a pattern on your frock. Can you stitch similar patterns on some more frocks of mine, mother? Why not? But I do not have enough buttons for those patterns. Will you buy them for me, Vanshika? Definitely, mother. How many would you need? I will need 16 for one pattern. I want patterns on 5 frocks. So I will buy 16 times 5, that is 80 buttons. In this lesson, you will learn algebra. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define algebra Define variable Use variables to express common arithmetic properties. Use variables to express geometric concepts. Translate real-life problems into algebraic expressions. Find solutions to algebraic equations. Concept of variable. Ananya creates dancing figures using triangles made of wood. One day she receives a request from her friend Rita for 10 such dancing figures. How many triangles will Ananya require to create them? Take a careful look at the dancing figure. Ananya uses 9 triangle to create it. Therefore, in 10 dancing figures, Ananya will use 9 into 10 is equal to 90 triangles. Rita's aunt notices the dancing figures and likes them so much that she orders 50 such pieces. How many triangles will Ananya use in these 50 dancing figures? Ananya uses 9 triangles in one figure. Therefore, in 50 figures, Ananya will use 9 into 50 is equal to 450. Ananya will use 450 triangles in 50 dancing figures. The triangles Ananya use in a single dancing figure are fixed. However, the total number of triangles used by her varies depending upon the number of dancing figures she makes. We can, therefore, generalize by saying if Ananya makes n dancing figures, she will require 9 into n triangles. Algebra Algebra is a division of mathematics which represents numbers with letters of the alphabet. The letters are replaced by different numbers to obtain different answers. Therefore, as the letters assume varying numeric values, they are called variables. Let us look at some more real-life situations in which algebra is used. Raju cleans cars in a housing society. For every car he cleans, he charges 200 rupees. Express Raju's total earnings in terms of a variable. Raju's total earnings depend on the number of cars he cleans. Suppose he cleans N cars. Raju's cleaning charges for one car is 200 rupees. Raju's cleaning charges for N cars is equal to 200 into N. Therefore, Raju's total earnings are 200 N rupees. Rhea is 5 years old now. Express her age 10 years from now. Generalize the expression with a variable. Rhea's present age is 5. Rhea's age after 10 years is 5 plus 10. Rhea's age m years, hence 5 plus m. Therefore, m years from now, Rhea will be 5 plus m years old. Arithmetic Properties and Variables let us now express some commonly used arithmetic properties with the help of variables. These properties are Commutative property Associative property Distributive property Let's take a brief look on each point. Commutative property Addition and multiplication of two numbers are commutative. In other words, a change in the order of the two numbers added or multiplied does not affect their sum or product. 9 plus 8 
is the same as 8 plus 9. 5 into 6 is the same as 6 into 5. The commutative property holds true for all numbers. We can therefore generalize it with variables as a plus b is equal to b plus a. a into b is equal to b into a. Associative property Addition and multiplication of three numbers are associative. In other words, a change in the order of the three numbers added or multiplied does not affect their sum or product. 9 plus 8 in brackets plus 7 is the same as 9 plus 8 plus 7 in brackets. 5 into 6 in brackets into 4 is the same as 5 into 6 into 4 in brackets. Associative property holds true for all numbers. We can therefore generalize it with variables as bracket starts a plus b bracket closes plus c is equal to a plus bracket starts b plus c bracket closes. Bracket starts a into b bracket closes into c is equal to a into bracket starts b into c bracket closes. Distributive property Look at this expression. 5 into bracket starts 8 plus 9 bracket closes. It can also be written as 5 into 8 plus 5 into 9. This property is known as distributivity of multiplication over addition. It holds true for all numbers. We can therefore generalize it with variables as bracket starts a plus b bracket closes into c is equal to a into c plus b into c. Geometric concepts and variables. The concept of variables can be extended to geometry. For example, diameter of a circle is twice its radius. It can be expressed as diameter is equal to 2 into radius or d is equal to 2 into r. Where both d and r are variables. As r changes, d also changes. Let us use variables to express perimeters and areas. Perimeters Perimeter of any two-dimensional figure is the length of its boundary. Perimeter of rectangle ABCD is equal to AB plus CB plus DC plus DA. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Therefore, DC is equal to AB is equal to L for length. DA is equal to CB is equal to B for breadth. If perimeter is represented by the variable P, then P is equal to L plus B plus L plus B is equal to 2L plus 2B is equal to 2 bracket starts L plus B bracket closes. Variable P varies with variations in the variables L and B. Perimeter of square ABCD is equal to AB plus CB plus DC plus DA. All the sides of a square are equal. AB is equal to CB is equal to DC is equal to DA is equal to S for side. If perimeter is represented by the variable P, then P is equal to S plus S plus S plus S is equal to 4S. Variable P varies with variations in the variable S. Areas Area of rectangle ABCD is equal to length into breadth. If area is represented by variable A, length by L and breadth by B, then A is equal to L into B. Variable A varies with variations in the variable L and B. Area of square ABCD is equal to side into side. If area is represented by variable A and side by S, then A is equal to S into S. Variable A varies with variations in the variable S. Self-assessment. Let's check what have you learned so far. Click the correct option. Algebraic expressions. 
Arithmetic expressions establish a relationship among numbers with the help of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Here are some arithmetic expressions. The result of an arithmetic expression is determined by solving it. Let us solve each of these arithmetic expressions. Algebraic expressions establish relationship among numbers and variables with the help of the four arithmetic operations. Here are some algebraic expressions. The result of an algebraic expression can be determined only when the value of the variable in the expression is known. Let us solve each of these algebraic expressions for specific values of the variables. Formation of algebraic expressions. Let us now take up some algebraic expressions and explain how they are formed. 3 into n plus 12. n is first multiplied by 3 and then 12 is added to the result. y divided by 7 plus 5. y is first divided by 7 and then 5 is added to the result. Bracket starts r minus 8 bracket closes into 14. 8 is first subtracted from r and then 14 is multiplied with the result. 6 plus 3 into bracket starts m minus 12 bracket closes. 12 is first subtracted from m. Then the difference is multiplied by 3 and the result is added to 6. 56 divided by bracket starts s into 3 bracket closes. s is multiplied by 3 and then 56 is divided by the product. Let us now express some real-life situations with the help of algebraic expressions. Keshav buys a toffee and a chocolate. The chocolate is costlier than the toffee by 20 rupees. Express the cost of chocolate in terms of the cost of toffee. If the cost of toffee is x, cost of chocolate is equal to x plus 20. Samira buys a book costing 200 rupees and some notebooks costing 30 rupees each. Express the total amount spent by Samira as an algebraic expression. If Y is the number of notebooks bought by Samira, amount spent by Samira on notebooks is equal to 30 into Y is equal to 30Y. Total amount spent by Samira on book and notebooks is equal to 30Y plus 200. Rajesh's father will be thrice as old as Rajesh after 5 years. Express father's age after 5 years in terms of Rajesh's age 5 years from now. If Rajesh's age is A, his father after 5 years is equal to A plus 5. Father's age after 5 years is equal to bracket starts A plus 5, bracket closes into 3. Algebraic Equations Consider a statement like this. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. It can be mathematically expressed as 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Such a mathematical expression is known as a numeric equation. Now consider the mathematical expression t minus 5 is equal to 2. This mathematical expression is an algebraic equation. An algebraic equation has one or more variables. Let us now look at two properties of equations. 1. An equation has two sides, left hand side or LHS and right hand side or RHS. 2. An equal to sign that equates the LHS with the RHS. Let us express all the earlier algebraic expressions as algebraic equations. x plus 20 is equal to 25. 30y plus 200 is equal to 1100. Bracket starts a plus 5, bracket closes, into 3 is equal to 45. The value of the variable for which an equation is satisfied is known as its solution. Let us consider the example of algebraic expressions. Keshav buys a toffee and a chocolate. The chocolate is costlier than the toffee by 20 rupees. If the money spent by Keshav on chocolate is 25 rupees, what is the cost of the toffee? Frame an algebraic equation and find its solution.
if the cost of toffee is x cost of chocolate is equal to x plus 20 but the cost of chocolate is given as 25 rupees therefore x plus 20 is equal to 25 this equation is true if x is assigned to value 5 x is equal to 5 is the solution of the equation it means that the cost of the toffee is 5 rupees let us look at another example Samira buys a book costing 200 rupees and some notebooks costing 30 rupees each. If Samira spends a total amount of 1100 rupees, find the cost of a notebook. Frame an algebraic equation and find a solution. If Y is the number of notebooks bought by Samira, amount spent by Samira on notebooks is equal to 30Y. Total amount spent by Samira on book and notebooks is equal to 30Y plus 200. But the total amount spent by Samira is given as 1100 rupees. Therefore, 30Y plus 200 is equal to 1100. 1100 rupees includes the cost of book. Amount spent by self-assessment. Let's check what you have learned so far. Match the algebraic equations with their solutions. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Algebra is a division of mathematics which represents numbers with letters of the alphabet. The letters of the alphabet that represent numbers are called variables. A variable assumes different values. Variables are used to express arithmetic properties. Variables are used to express geometric concepts. Algebraic expressions establish relationship among numbers and variables. The value of the variable that satisfies an algebraic equation is called its solution.